Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. It is about 3.35, 3.40. Um, we have a pack of coyotes that's taking up residence in the area here at night. Coyote back and forth to each other. So this afternoon Tim and I are going to do a coyote hunt. See if we can pull them out. Maybe use a lone coyote. Make them think somebody else is in their territory. Uh, I got a couple of uh, turkeys set out, decoys, and maybe we can even get them to come into the decoys. We'll do turkey calls instead of a distressed rabbit, and uh, that's more conducive to the food in the area. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Let's get the heater lit and get this place warmed up. It is raw bone chili today. All right, guys, let's get with it. Let's get right, started. Tim with two brothers outdoors, or sawdust, or however else you want to call me. All right, so we're back up in the hunting blind. Uh, we decided we was going to do a little bit of uh, coyote hunting today, so I got the uh, couple of hens set out, the uh, decoys. I'm going to do some turkey sounds on my collar, and... Uh, Every once in a while, do a a, a coyote howl. See if we can't get them uh, them to come in. Rick said he heard uh, several the other day or the other night, two nights ago. He said there's a pack of them. So we're gonna see if uh, see if we can find them and draw them in and get rid of them because they're not good for their for a baby deer. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll have something exciting for you. Okay, one thing nice about these little shacks, I can take my coat off once I get the heater fired up. Warms up nice in here. And uh, I'm sitting have a comfortable hunt. Anyway. Okay, I got my turkey decoy set up, oh, probably about 60 yards out. Right there. And then you can't see it, but right over there in that stump, I got a squirrel tail on a... Uh, very flexible speedometer cable wire and it just kind of wiggles around in the breeze and I put a little pheasant scent down there I know it's not the same as turkey scent but coyotes don't know the difference I would speculate all right guys we got the collar down there so we're going to start calling okay, here in just so few down minutes. there I've got my hens my uh, decoys I've got my collar down there doing turkey sounds. So I'm gonna let that run just for a second. See if any response. Stay tuned. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but we got coyotes howling off in the distance. Let's just hope they're hungry.
Nothing yet. Okay. Stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, draw something in. Normally, when we coyote hunt, we use a 22 250 because we have to reach out into the fields. Our farthest shot so far was over 600 yards. But today, we're shooting under 100 yards. So, they're using the 22 mags. These work really well on coyotes, especially when you can zero in and make a headshot. Saves the pelt. As I'm sitting here thinking about this as I'm playing the caller, at this range and the speed the coyote's going to be coming in at if I don't catch him sneaking in, probably should have brought the shotgun with some buckshot in it, or number two shot. Oh well, we just have to hope for the best, I guess. Well, guys, we had him howling few minutes ago. Nothing yet. We're playing the turkey call. Just like there's turkeys out there feeding in the field. Hopefully that'll be more natural to them and they'll come on in. That's what we're hoping for anyway. All right, had him howling again. And I heard Tim answer him with his call. He gave a, a challenge howl, I believe. So if these coyotes are established and this is their ground, they'll come in. They'll come in to the lone coyote to get him out of here. Can you hear the coyotes howling? Alright guys, so we we're just going to take in an afternoon hunt, hopefully call something out, but we did not, so. <sighs> Try doing the turkey decoys and see what happened there. Didn't do nothing. Try to do some serenades and a howl every now and again. and Just the turkey. I was trying to keep it pretty consistent, but uh, nothing. Didn't draw nothing, so. I have to keep my ears peeled tonight and see if... Uh, Maybe they're acting up tonight. Maybe we need to do a night hunt. Don't know. Alright, so uh, I guess that's it for me. I'll meet up with Rick and uh, get my decoys and stuff and put them away. And I uh, guess we'll catch you on another one. So this is Sawdust for Two Brothers Outdoors. We'll see you. Well, guys, we had them howling. It's just about dark. And even though we brought the night vision, the night vision is basically for using in fields along with the red lights. We got all our night stuff with us, but in the woods it doesn't work too good. The red lights reflect back in your scope on the trees. Makes it hard to see anything. So, I guess we're going to call it here in just a few minutes. We had them howling. They were answering back to the coyote howls, but they weren't coming in. So I think what we're going to do is we got some cold nights coming up. We'll make the uh, coyote popsicles, which is 
scraps that we've saved all year long, all kinds of scraps, turkey and chicken wings and everything, anything you can imagine, chicken blood. And what we'll do is we'll pour that into a uh, barrel, a third, uh, the barrel's probably about 18 inches tall. Uh, it's the bottom of a plastic barrel. And we'll put all those scraps in there, stir it up with some water, and then fill it right to the top of the water and let it freeze. And what that does is they can smell the food, they can dig at the ice, and they can get scraps every once in a while. It keeps them coming back, and it'll last pretty much all winter. till the ice melts, anyway. Sometimes they work at it pretty hard. Last year we made the popsicles, and the... Uh, Stinking fishers took over and they wouldn't let the coyotes near it. We put cameras on it, of course, and every time a coyote come into it, the fishers would run them off. Vicious little son of a guns, I tell you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Got a few minutes of light left here, and then we'll be out of here. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notifications bell. You don't want to miss our future videos. And watch our playlists. Alright guys, until the next one, we'll catch you later.